Thank you very much. Charge your glasses, ladies and gentlemen. And I think it's time to propose a toast to the Sofitel. Sofitel must have a wine cellar bigger than its car park, I'm very glad to say. Ah, oh, wine. I need a glass up here, actually. It's better than sex, really, isn't it? Why, well, you don't think so? Wine has all the pleasures of sex without the risks. If your wine is picked from the wrong side of the hill, you only need disparin, not penicillin. You don't have to consider the feelings of wine. You don't always have to worry whether it can breathe. You can even make it cook. Wine improves food. Sex doesn't go with cheese. In fact, therapists tell us that the best sex aid, apart from a partner, is our imaginations. Okay, imagine sex and you're likely to call out Kevin or Mr. Ed in the wrong bedroom. But imagine a bottle of wine. I see bronzed and muscled bodies shining with sweat in the warm morning sun. Lean limbs bent double. Long fingers lithe and firm and sure caress dew-spangled golden orbs. Swollen, tight skin translucent, ready to burst. The heavy bunches dangle between the fingers and are gently plucked from the vine and laid in glistening mounds and hitch the skirt and hoist the culottes and dance upon their ripe firm flesh until their essence runs dribbling body warm between the toes and out the bung dripping drop by golden drop of blood red nectar such a morning Such a dance, such a sensation. You could even cork it halfway through. <laughs> Unlike sex. Happily, we don't have to. So please, all you have to do now is offer a heartfelt toast to Sofitel. Happy birthday. <laughs> Cheers. And now, what you've all been waiting for, dessert followed by some fabulous more entertainment with Motown. They're really great. And of course, we're going to have the draw of the great prize. So catch the speed.